Today, we're going to show you how to install a transducer on the GSD-28 sonar module. For this installation, we will need a number two Phillips screwdriver, three millimeter flathead screwdriver, wire cutters, wire stripper, and a one inch or 24 millimeter wrench. You will also need to apply dialectic grease that is sold separately. You must check your transducer compatibility before beginning your installation. Check out our transducer compatibility page for the GSD-28 to confirm your transducer will work. Remove the terminal block lid from the sonar module using a number two Phillips head screwdriver. Remove one of the cord grips. Remove the rubber plug. You may need to push the plug all the way through and retrieve it from the inside of the terminal block area. The GSD-28 can use a single element transducer, dual element transducers, or two single element transducers. Each transducer type is installed differently. Please refer to the installation manual for your specific transducer type. You can connect a single element transducer to either the low or high terminals, regardless of nominal frequency. This only applies to one single element transducer being used. This does not apply to two single element transducers. For dual element transducers, the low frequency element wires must be connected to the terminals labeled low, and the high frequency element wires must be connected to the terminals labeled high. Ground temperature, XID, and GID wires can be connected to either set of terminals. You must connect each single element transducer to its own set of terminals when using two single element transducers to ensure proper transducer identification and safe operation. Refer to the transducer diagrams located in the installation manual of the GSD-28 for wire diagrams specifically for your compatible transducer. Please contact Garmin Marine Support or an authorized Garmin installer if you are unsure of which transducer or how to install the compatible transducer to the GSD-28. Feed the transducer cable through the nut and cord grip. Pull the cable into the terminal block area. Cut the transducer cable as close to the connector as possible if your transducer has one before feeding through the cord grip. Then use a wire stripper to remove three and a half inches of the outer cable jacket and foil shield. Separate each cable and use the wire stripper to remove a quarter inch of the insulation from each internal wire. Connect the uninsulated section of each wire to the corresponding terminal block using a three millimeter flathead screwdriver. You may need to connect the transducer to one of the two ground posts under the terminal block using a number two Phillips screwdriver if the transducer has a separate outer shield bare wire. Then secure the terminal box lid using the number two screwdriver. Secure the nut back onto the cord grips. Connect the power cable to your battery source and plug the two pin power cable to the GSD-28. The GSD-28 is compatible with both Garmin BlueNet and legacy Garmin Marine Network devices. A GPS map 9000 series chart plotter will require the included BlueNet cable to connect the GSD-28. The Garmin BlueNet chart plotter uses the BlueNet 30 gateway to connect to other Garmin legacy devices. The GSD-28 can be connected to the Garmin BlueNet device or the legacy Garmin network device using the included adapter cable. Routing your sonar module to your legacy device does not impact the performance. Boats with only legacy Garmin Marine network devices must use the included adapter cable to connect the GSD-28 to your network. The sonar module turns on when the chart plotter is turned on. The status LED on the sonar module indicates its operational status. Refer to the installation manual for status LED codes. A transducer with an XID, Aramar, or GID Garmin will auto-configure in the chart plotter to identify which transducer is being used. 
Please contact Marine Support or your local Garmin authorized dealer for assistance if you are not sure or need help with manual configuration of the transducer. And that's it. Thanks for watching. For more help, please visit marinesupport.garmin.com.